with Heather Crawford and Anthony Austin. Murder Hornets, it's not the name of a bad sci-fi movie. They're real and the hunt to track them down is fascinating. When the first murder hornet nest in the United States was found in Washington State, it was all over the news. You probably remember hearing about them. Now it turns out there's a tie here to Jacksonville. Our Jeannie Blaylock takes us behind the scenes on the hunt for these predators. It's been crazy. Back now with what's called murder hornets, reported in the U.S. for the first time. And its sting is strong enough to kill a human. The so-called murder hornets. Stop calling them murder hornets. Dr. Peggy Shashi. People started putting up signs all over the national parks and state parks that this hornet could actually decapitate people. And that is not true, but they can blind you. As a veterinarian, what is the most intriguing thing to you? I had never known any hornets to be this big and that they could actually spray venom through the stinger that could damage the retinas of your eyes. For 31 years, Dr. Shashi was a veterinarian in Jacksonville. Now she lives in Washington State, only about an hour from the first giant hornet nest found in the U.S. She is a citizen scientist in a program to trap the hornets. And rice wine, 10% alcohol, the perfect cocktail to draw in hornets. I name all of my traps. So far in the U.S., they've been found only in Washington State. If it got into another state, it would be devastating. Devastating. It could wipe out crops, a huge economic disaster. When you look at the actual hornet, the face of it, you can see the mandibles. The giant hornets can decapitate honeybees. That's the big threat. We require honeybees to pollinate our food. So it was a huge deal to find this one nest. I'm truly grateful that they found the nest. 500 hornets inside and 76 queens. The queens can mate and start new colonies, and that is really bad. But how did scientists find that nest? It is pretty wild. Let me take you behind the scenes. We're creating a video to give you an overview of what our Asian giant hornet project was like. The Washington State Department of Agriculture just put out this video. First, the trap map from all the traps last October. We had four living wasps to work with. But how do you follow the wasps to their nest? We couldn't get the glue to dry fast enough without warming up the hornet, so that never turned out to be an effective method. So then, scientists strapped on radio trackers with dental floss, but almost all of them lost. And the other one flew to a tree, hung out in the tree for a while. We eventually knocked her down, fed her some more jelly. And this time she flew in the other direction. She went where we didn't expect the nest to be. Apparently, the grape jelly gave her a zap of energy. And her flight path, that was key. Kind of what we expected to do all along. We walked around in the woods with this kind of radio antenna until we were able to pick up a signal and follow the signal until it got stronger and stronger and stronger until we found ourselves standing in front of a hornet nest. Success. However, and it's it's a it's a scary thing because we know they defend their nests. Their sting, a fiery pain, even some fatalities in Asia. So, so we wrapped the tree with plastic, and then we vacuumed everything out. And notice the red light. If you used regular, you know, white lighting, it would aggravate the hornets, and they would literally come after you and attack you. And then in the lab. We douse them with carbon dioxide, but you know, you don't want to take chances. Quite the ordeal, but first nest eradicated. Possibly three others still out there in the area of Washington State and British Columbia, Canada. So scientists now say. I invite the, the citizen scientists to join us again. So I'm going to set the first trap to you. And Dr. Shashi is definitely on board. Fascinating to look at. Well, you can learn more about the giant hornets. The Discovery Channel has just released a new documentary called Attack on the Murder, Attack of the Murder Hornets. Scientists in the program say a single hornet can behead 20 bees in 60 seconds. Follow that, Tim Deegan.